Oh my god, you're here! Hello! Hello. Come on in. This is the new home. <laughs> so you know we just moved in like a few months ago. We only have the living room done. Do you want a tour? Yes. Okay. Are you thirsty by any chance? Oh, I'm so thirsty. Good, because I have water. <laughs> I have the craziest fridge. I got this like little water filter here. It automatically refills when I put it back in. What? I didn't even know that you can have that as a feature. So cool. Here it is. Thank you. <laughs> All done. Oh, wow. You finished this so fast. So this is the kitchen area. I don't know what to say besides I've always wanted a big ass island and here it is. And oh yes, I have this dishwasher right here. The interesting thing about it is that it's Wi-Fi enabled. And what that means is that it will send me a notification to my phone when the dishwasher is done. What? Isn't that so high tech? Samsung, rule the world. Kitchen area, my electric stove top. Apparently a lot of the houses in recent years have to have electric stove tops for the environment. Got my big cutting board here. Got my bougie salt and pepper shake and then my knives to cut all the toxic people out of my life. Oh, but not you though. You can oh, stay. Okay. <laughs> oh dude, I love this area. I spent a really long time curating it. I have my Zoji Rushi rice cooker and if you don't have one in your home, I don't think we can be friends, I'm sorry. All of my multivitamins, like my vitamin D because I'm vitamin D deficient even though I live in LA. That's just the lamest thing, right? I know. On my tea, my matcha, my coffee, my Zoji Rushi water boiler for instant hot water. I didn't know that people didn't have water boilers in their homes. That's insane. I know. Then I bought this fellow stag kettle last year. I didn't think I would want it because I already had this water boiler, but I love it. And it makes me want to drink tea and coffee every day and hot water. Over here is the Kosori. I don't know how to say this, Kosori air fryer. My sister-in-law to be gave it to us in black metal, which is what I love. I love black metal as accents in the kitchen. We use it for all of our vegetables to like air fry. And then here is the famous Bermuda mini oven. This is like $400. It's insane. I went to Japan, I saw it in the store, and then I came back and I bought it. And I actually use it a lot. I use it almost every day for my morning avocado toast. This is a banana stand. Love it. Hot. <laughs> oh my God, here's a tissue. Thank you. Uh, where do I put this? Oh, I got it. Don't worry. My trash can is usually in here. Very confusingly, I got two, but it's so annoying to have to open this and then throw something away. So I actually use this simple human automatic trash can from my previous place. It's so much more convenient. I don't know why people do that. This is better. Do you want to check out this wall over here? Show me all your pieces. Dude, okay. This is the centerpiece of the living space. This is what we spent the most money on and time on. And it is this, the Vitsu shell with all of our home decor pieces. Basically, this shelf is really, really famous. It's designer, it's very classic, it's modular. I can move stuff around. I've been eyeing it for a long time. I actually bought it last year for the previous place, but I didn't install it because we were moving to this home. So we just had it in boxes for a while. And thank God it fit here. These are from my friend Kira as a housewarming gift. And I also got this from my friend Shri, who is a previous coworker at Discord. So that was really lovely. And this is like a birthday gift. I have a bunch of design books. The Jean Julien book. This one is really famous. A lot of people have it on their coffee table. Got Herman Miller, Hey, uh, The Creative Act. And then I got some books for memes, just cause vibes. And then got all these pieces, which I love. So how would you describe your aesthetic? Japandi and Bauhaus. So Japandi is pretty straightforward. Like I think a lot of people know. Very earth tones, wood, natural colors, neutral. Bauhaus is a German concept that has a lot of geometric shapes, colors, the cubism, and it kind of looks like this. It's like very sharp shapes and lines, but super functional as well. And I just love having the pop of color. I'm just exploring a lot of color lately, so I kind of merged the two. I don't know if it works, but it is what it is. I like it. That's how I describe it. So, is that real? What do you think? Maybe it's too green to be real. Yes, it's fake. I admit I have fake plants, but no one ever knows. Oh, this one's this one's real though. Can you tell? <laughs> wait, 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 can you tell now? <laughs> I'm surprised it is still alive. Sorry. Now it looks fake. 
and this is the dining table. It is from Castlery. I bought it when I moved down to LA. I super love it because it has round edges because I really hate things with sharp edges. I'm always running into shit and I, I don't want to get like a splinter and have that enter my bloodstream and I'm gonna die. So rounded edges. The chairs are from Rove Concepts. I wanted something that had squishy butt padding because I'm gonna be sitting here for a while and you know, there are very few chairs out there that have squishy butt paddings that don't look jank. So this is good chair, very good chair. Speaking of other chairs, I got these counter stools recently, also from Castlery. They're whitewashed natural wood, and then they've got the black accents at the bottom, and they got like a squishy cushion. And I'm gonna be real, the cushion looks squishy, but it's it's not that squishy, so. Oh, uh, can I use the restroom real quick? Oh yeah, the pattern's right over there. Ooh, nice bathroom. Oh, you're done. That only took you three business days. You wanna see the rest of it? Yeah. Okay. This is one of my favorites. It is a USM Holler Credenza. Another one of those things that I've been eyeing for months and finally bought it. I have the Nacino lamp here. One fake and one real plant. Do you, can you tell which one? The one to the left. <laughs> Good job, you got a gold star. <laughs> I like to hang out here just to sit on this chair because it's so comfortable. I got it from, I think, CB2. I got it as one of my accent pieces in my previous place and I still really love it today. And everyone always compliments it because it looks so cozy. Let's do the rest of the living space. Here is something that I think a lot of you see in vlogs and interior design Instagram pages, but it's a Campanabili. I got the three tier one in white. I thought it was just completely an aesthetic play, but actually it is very functional. I put all like my candles in there. It's not bad. It's really great for storage. Then I have this fake orchid plant here that we took from Kevin's previous roommate that didn't want it anymore. Over here, we've got the entertainment area. This beautiful TV stand. I think it's also from CB2. It is white high gloss, which I personally like, but my friend Eric says anything shiny is chuggy, so don't do that. And I'm like, damn, Gen Z, man, they're kind of brutal. I have the gantry lamp, which I super love. I bought this two years ago. I really like their products. I have another lamp upstairs. We got a board here. We've got karaoke mics. I have a bunch of design magazines. Then it's all nothing that you need to see. And then it's games that Kevin loves. We got the Sonos sound bar for our sound system. We actually have the subwoofer on the side. Our TV is the LG C265 inch OLED and we splurged for our Korean drama anime nights. A, we got a PS4 here. I have a PS3 so we can play Kingdom Hearts on it, which I never got to play. What else do I have here? I got a lot of board games that I never play. Let's move on. And then I got like a kind of dead plant on the side for vibes. I'm bad at letting go. You should probably water that. Oh shit, you're right. This too. I forgot to water the money tree. We usually water this once a month, once a week, not once a month, once a week. Here is our little creative corner where we have our keyboard and then our books and a cute lamp. This is a Timberland lamp that uh, we got last year at our previous place too. I really think lamps is the thing that makes you elevate the entire space. Invest in your lamps. So the keyboard, very, very controversial item because actually Kevin and I both had our own keyboard when we first met each other and both of us refused to not sell our keyboards. We both wanted to keep our own, but we had to only keep one and I lost a fight and we got to keep his keyboard and had to sell mine. So here it is. Over here is our bookshelf of a lot of the books that Kevin loves. We got Calvin and Hobbes. We got Brandon Sanderson. I read the Mistborn series, really good. And ooh, actually, you wanna smell this? Sure. This is a new room spray that I bought from Aesop and it smells so good. Mmm, yum. <laughs> It smells, it smells good. so good, right? Yeah. Wow. I'm trying to get more into scents because I feel like that's like the next step of adulthood, scents. And this is a couch area. This is where I spend the most time with Kevin, hang out here, watch our anime and dramas. This is the old couch that we have. I actually just bought a new couch from Design Within Reach. It's the Kelston sectional, most expensive couch I've ever bought. It hasn't arrived yet, but it will next month. This is the Noguchi coffee table. Plus a pretty penny. It is in natural wood. And then this is a C-stand. These are all very expensive pieces that I have invested my heart earn tech money into. But Kevin says, I can't buy any more furniture for a while. 
I really love soft blankets and materials because this is my safe space. I want to feel cozy and comfortable. I got this from Sunday Citizen, one of the best throw blankets I've had. And then I found this on Amazon. It is very affordable. I'm gonna link it down below. It is so soft, so fun. And I just like playing with it. Here are a bunch of West Elm wool poofs. Just because I don't have a lot of seating space for all my guests, so anyone can just sit on this. But I'm gonna just warn you, this is not very soft. This is hard as a rock. <laughs> it looks cozy, it's not cozy. It's functional. This is the last spot, I guess. Oh, because I have this too. Hey there, looking pretty good there today. That's what I say to myself every day when I'm here in front of my mirror, checking out my outfit of the days. All right, now it's really important to have a mirror for self-love. This is from, I think, CV2 or Crate and Braille. I'll double check it. I'm a fan. I feel like everyone always checks out themselves in this mirror. And lastly, it is the Nelson bench over here. I super love this because of the black metal. This used to be the old coffee table before I got the Noguchi. So I just put it here and generally put a lot of stuff on it. I think this is natural wood. Ooh, that brings me to the flooring. One of the most important things I was looking for in this house was what kind of flooring it had. I love engineered hardwood. I don't like laminate finishes. And I used to have like a millennial gray laminate floor in the previous house and I hated it. It just gave me the ick. Unfortunately, it sucks to clean, but it looks gorgeous. It really changes the entire space. And that's pretty much it. Yum. I hope you liked it. You can go home now. Okay, bye. 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 See you next time. See you later. Bye. <laughs> This is the